How about that band? How about them? I think uh, I think the rain's gone. Thank you, Lord. Where two or three are gathered, pray that thing away is what I'm saying.
Mr. Hamilton Provencia.
We are the Garden of Memories Band. <laughs> yes, we are the Garden of Memories Band, right there. It's, it's, just, it's just right. Hey, support your local business because it's nothing but chicken tonight and it's good. So support these guys and gals over here. We're glad you're here tonight. Um, eat more chicken. Eat more chicken. We're glad you're here tonight, and um, we're just going to keep plugging along. We do have a little uh, fireworks show later on tonight. Should be scary. I mean, fun. Mark's playing with matches, so. Fire! I think we got Mr. Uh, Jason Moore on vocals. Do clap, do the clap, man, do the clap.
Mark Avra, if if you have a chance to find some eyeballs, I may need some eyeballs in a minute. They're probably, hey, they're probably in my book bag in the office.
this is living life right. This is, uh, we are very blessed to be able to be doing this, to be sitting together outdoors and just uh, enjoying this creation in front of us. This one thing I know, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other.
Good evening, everyone. And again, thank you for being patient with the weather and, and sticking around. Uh, it, you know, community is an important thing. It's a precious thing, really. And when it begins to unravel or you lose it, you realize just how precious it is. And many of us have dealt with some loneliness and isolation. We may be no neighbors in this time that are going through that. So it's good to come together and just uh, give thanks for the gift of community. So that's what we're going to do tonight, especially as we get close to the 4th of July. We're just going to take a moment and, and um, remember our community, uh, our own neighborhood, community of our families, and the community of our nation even, uh, which sometimes seems to be unraveling. So sometimes the least we can do in those situations that are troubling to us is bring those burdens to the Lord and lift up a prayer. So I encourage you to keep this with you. There's a few prayers in here for community, for our nation, uh, that you can take in maybe the next three days. It'd be a good thing to just pray. So take it with you. Um, Maybe each day lift up a prayer for uh, the people around us, the people who serve, the people who have given ultimately for our freedoms. And the question tonight maybe we should ask ourselves is, is um, what is freedom for? A lot of people are striving for freedom from things, freedom from oppression, freedom from tyranny, freedom from harassment, freedom from uh, prejudice. But when you get freedom from those things, what's it for? It's a question we really need to wrestle with. And if there's a God above, I think uh, he's given us a picture in his son of what freedom's used for. And it's, it's really used uh, to serve others, uh, to manifest love to those around us, that the world might be a better place. So um, take a moment, I'll open it up. We're gonna start on the inside. That prayer on the front is actually for the end. We just ran out of space trying to conserve paper here. So if you'll open it up, we're gonna start with the song, raise up the crown, and I'll give it back over to the band. If you have uh, your little song book in front of you, um, sing with us if you haven't been singing with us already. Our words are right there. And there we go.
speaking of his love uh, because he's died for us. And so we can trust that he will hear our prayers and answer as is best for us. A uh, word about confession. I just invite you to enter into this. God's people have always not only confessed their own sins, but as priests of sorts, uh, representing the nations and their communities. He brought the burdens, the brokenness, the, the sins of their nation, their people, their communities also. So if you can't think of any of your own brokenness, I can think of mine, but um, that's another story. Uh, you, can, you can lift up uh, the nation. You can lift up our community in this prayer as well. It's just a way, confession is just a way of saying that the burdens are too big for me. My brokenness is too much for me. I, I need somebody bigger and stronger to, to carry these things. So we acknowledge our weakness, our need for God. So I invite you just to join with me in this uh, moment. And uh, if you'd like to pray your own, you can, or you can pray this one with us. Almighty and most merciful God, we have messed up and run from you in so many ways. We have followed the desires of our heart and chased after our wants, often to the hurt and neglect of others. We have done many things which we ought not to have done, and we have left undone many things which we ought to have done. Acknowledging this is a heavy burden on us that we can't bear. We need your forgiveness and grace. O oh Lord God, have mercy on us. Spare all who are willing to confess their faults and restore everyone who looks to you for help. Cleanse our minds and set our hearts right again according to the promises that you have made to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. Help us to live a life that pleases you and blesses others to the glory of your name. Amen.
word tonight is taken from the letter of Paul to the Galatian church, fifth chapter beginning at the first verse. Paul writes, for freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand therefore and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. For you were called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite and devour one another, watch out that you are not consumed by one another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I invite you to pray the prayer that our Lord taught his disciples when they asked him how to pray. It gives us a form of the things we should be asking. And then you can just uh, join me in saying the other prayers that follow. Or you can pray in your own heart for our communities and nations. Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son among us to proclaim the kingdom of God in cities, towns, villages, and lonely places. Behold and visit, we pray, our communities. Renew the bonds of charity that uphold our civic life. Send us honest and able leaders. Deliver us from poverty, prejudice, and oppression, that peace may prevail with righteousness and justice with mercy. And at the last, bring us to your holy city, the new Jerusalem, where we shall know perfect unity and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, you made us in your own image, and you have redeemed us through your Son, Jesus Christ. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you created us in your image. Grant us grace to contend fearlessly against evil and to make no peace with oppression. And help us to use our freedom rightly in the establishment of justice in our communities and among the nations, to the glory of your holy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Increase, O God, the spirit of neighborliness among us, that in danger we may uphold one another, in suffering tend to one another, and in homelessness, loneliness, or exile, to friend one another. Grant us brave and enduring hearts that we may strengthen one another until the disciplines and testing of these days are ended and you again give peace in our time through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we're back to the last prayer on the front of your leaflet. We remember those who especially are putting in long hours and often uh, at great cost to themselves to uh, help others who are in the O Lord, our Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son came not to be served, but to serve, we ask you to bless all who, following in his steps, give themselves to the service of others, especially our health care workers and first responders, and do them with wisdom, patience, and courage, that they may strengthen the weak and raise up those who fail, and being inspired by your love may worthily minister to the suffering, the friendless, and the needy. For the sake of him who laid down his life for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 
resume talking. <laughs> like, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. We make this up as we go. Work with me, people. Work with me. What? <laughs>
try one more um, all-American here. I mean, John Denver, come on. How more American can you get?
Come on, Hammy, give it to me. What you got it? What key do you have? If tomorrow all the things were gone, I worked for all my life, and I had to start again. Just my children and my wife. Thank my God above to be living here today. The flag still stands for freedom. coming out of your back, Rich. Oh, great. <laughs> hey, let's do, um...
did just fall. Oh, there's a couple that landed over here. Okay. Yeah, Mark, maybe you could point them. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. 